Well, I got a load. Um, up here I'm sitting and I'm going to a, uh, a plant that makes oriented strand board down over here. And there was a warning with it that we were not to take a Virginia highway through there that was limited by length so I had to take five minutes and look that up to make sure I wasn't going to be doing that. Obviously I don't want to go 161 miles, I can go 70 and I should be good doing that so um, going to go get a load of strand board which is a kind of lumber product and I'm going to Worcester, Ohio with it. So that's uh, going to get me closer to home. I drop it tomorrow and tomorrow is Friday. I am in Greater Roanoke, Virginia on my way home and I've pretty much followed the same path that I took when I uh, when I came out here. It was pretty far east from where I dropped off so I uh, I got a tarp, I got it on there and I don't know if you can see anything out there in my mirror. Yeah, sort of, but I'll show you later. Now I'm at a pilot waiting for fuel. And the thing is, I really need to get, I got a half tank, but I've got to run, uh, I won't have opportunity to get any more along the run I'm going to take for quite a while, and I want to make sure that I'm, I'm good and covered. Uh, made contact with my new student, and I am... Um, going to take this load to Worcester, Ohio to a, a Lowe's there and then I have a pre-plan to pick and I'm going to deliver it on Monday morning so I will take that home for the weekend so that is good I, uh, right here I have my dinner thawing it's all set and I'm going to cook that in my lunchbox cooker after I get going here. I can drive for uh, five hours in ten minutes yet. So I don't know how far I'll go. I'm 390 miles or seven hours in 22 minutes from my drop. So I don't know if I'll get home Friday night uh, probably Saturday morning which is fine. I don't mind. Because I won't leave out until Monday morning early. Well, I'm up in, uh, it's Friday <laughs> at 10 minutes to 2 in the afternoon and I'm up in Ohio, northeastern Ohio, up near a little town called Beloit, which is not Beloit, Wisconsin. And I just got loaded. I, probably since I talked to you, I got a load of OSB board down in Virginia and, uh, delivered it to uh, Worcester, Ohio, and then I came east over here, and we service a little machine shop, kind of, that delivers very, very finely finished little parts, steel, heavy, you know, 46,000 pounds, and uh, taking it to Indiana to a place they make uh, semi-trailers, so this is the load I'm taking home. So, here it... Uh, here it is. Um, you can tell I've got a bulkhead here. So right up here I've got uh, stacked eight foot timbers with a chain over them. Eh, they don't, I mean the load's higher than, than the bulkhead but uh, Maverick decided after some trouble that we needed to uh, to do that with this load. So they have a very very um, important but strict and fussy customer. Got to fix that. Uh, these tarps. Um, this is a strap load. Each of these bundles, I have three of them, are just over eight feet. So Maverick's uh, policy is anything over eight feet. We use three straps. Um, put our straps right where the boards were holding the pieces. Evidently, they had some trouble, and. Uh, this stuff is bundled together and they're little thin slats like about two inches wide and hundreds of them in each bundle and what happens is they start coming loose 
about ready to leave. I can't make it home tonight. I've got about four hours. I just pulled in this little service station kind of across the street and I was going to get a Subway sandwich, but I was in the line and I thought, well, I can come out here and do this, make myself a sandwich and a cup of coffee. Now, I went in there for a cup of coffee, but they didn't even have coffee. So, I, uh, I'll, I'll make it a ways. Grab I-71, go down to I-70. I'm a little bit concerned because there's some weather coming in. The line for this weather is right along I-70. So I'm a little bit tempted to run right across uh, US-30, which is up further north, and then grab I-69. I would be going out of route to go home. I'd be going longer, but um, I don't want to wake up tomorrow morning very early thinking I can get on home and find icy roads. It's kind of this little place we went, you, uh, it's like you had to curve in and out. You pulled in at an angle and you basically then had to back out and go around this little building and you got, you know, inches to spare. And, uh, I remember back in uh, Maverick School, they have a van there that you know new students can use to get to Walmart and the grocery or other places. And so uh, time came to drive the van, and, uh, and me, being who I am, I said I'll drive. You know, so I pretty much carted everybody around, which was fun. But I remember we had to back it in then by the by our learning center and. Uh, I, I'm not used to driving a van like that. <laughs> Big thing. No, it was just, it was like a Econo line van or something. And uh, I remember one of the guys, George, he, uh, I don't know what happened to him, but he's not with Maverick anymore. One of those guys that fell off. Uh, he said, Man, you were close to that thing. You missed it by inches. I said, What? No, I didn't. I said, Well, uh, I didn't hit it, did I? Okay, another vehicle, you know. I said, if I didn't hit it, I'm good. And he says, that's right, inches. And then he started calling me inches after that.